Um. Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Oh, that's my knock. <laughs> Alrighty, getting in. Just, camera angle Ugh, is different because my tripod is broke. I mentioned that last time. And I forgot to buy another one, even though I was looking at them at the store earlier today. I just forgot. <laughs> Alright, I'm just still setting stuff up. I'm trying to hurry to get started because Jesse is napping. He's right here now. And, um, he's been napping already for a while, so, I, I'm trying to hurry before he wakes up, but, not that I don't, I don't mind filming with him, but I hate having to stop and then go get him, and then, if he wakes up grumpy, I have to, you know, calm him down and start in. Alright, <laughs> I have two finished objects, let me find the second one, it's not that bag. Yeah, this one. I can't remember what bag my projects are in, it's this one. One of them's not all the way finished. The crochet part's finished. Okay. I'll just start with the completely finished one. Wait, I forgot to say welcome everything, did I? Did I welcome y'all? This is episode 22, I think. I always forget. Ugh. But, uh, welcome everybody. Welcome to new subscribers. Uh, welcome back to everybody who's been here before. I hope you guys are enjoying Vlogmas, but there's no pressure to watch Vlogmas. <laughs> uh, I do enjoy doing them, and I've had some feedback that's good, so it's fun. It's fun getting to know um, people you watch. I like watching other people's vlogmases. So I'm hoping some of y'all like watching mine. <laughs> Alright, finished object. This is my first finished object. I finished it, I don't know, I can't remember when I finished it. <laughs> it was just a little while ago. It is a little angel. I don't know if it's blowing out. There's no natural light right now. It's all overhead and Christmas lights. It's just a little angel um, Christmas tree ornament. It's supposed to have a little halo, but I didn't make a halo. I mean, you can still tell it's an angel. It's called Angel Christmas Ornament <laughs> by Mbaka Designs. It is a paid-for PDF on Ravelry, but the link that I'll share below, underneath where you can buy it, there's a link to get it for free on her website. I guess that's a her. I think that's a her. I don't remember. On the website, it's a free pattern. And this one... I used up last, but I'm like literally I ran I had like this much yarn that I had to weave in on one of the wings, which was difficult. It's hard to weave in little bits. And I didn't make the little arms that's supposed to stick out of here, but I think it looks fine without the little arms. And it's simply because I didn't want to open a new skein of white yarn just to make little arms. But uh, I made this for my mom. I wanted to make ornaments for my mom, my sister, my brother, and uh, this is the one for my mom. Obviously I didn't say that. It's super cute and it was really fast. I made it in like maybe 30 minutes. And that was while watching YouTube videos, so I probably could have made it faster if I were paying attention better. The head is stuffed with cotton. The bottom is just open. Um, she can put a hook or a string on it if she wants. Or I can see if she wants me to do it. And I guess the wings could do with the blocking, but since it's a Christmas ornament, I'm not really going to worry about it. My mom won't care if it's not perfect. But yeah, that's that. It's a free pattern. Um, this one, <laughs> I haven't wo woven in all the ends and I need to connect them and I'm thinking about stuffing them a little bit. But these are technically finished. They're done being crocheted. And they're just little mitten ornaments. And there's a hair on it. The yarn color pulled, which I think is kind of cool. But, um, I gotta weave in the ends. And the reason I left these two ends is because I'm thinking about stuffing them just a little bit and sewing them shut and then I'm gonna make probably a chain or just string them together like that for my sister so that she, these are for her uh, this is her little Christmas ornament that I make. I'm going to try to start making everybody Christmas ornaments every year. I just thought that would be cool. And this is a free pattern. This is it's just called Mitten Ornament. I literally just typed in Mitten Ornament on Ravelry and it popped up. Uh, this is from Nadia Fraud which is the same woman, lady, I don't know how to say that. The same person. <laughs> Who is um, making all the granny? Who made all the granny squares that Terry is doing at Yarn Joy Podcast? So that's cool. And I forgot what I was going. <laughs> all right, let's see here. I finished those two mittens, and then I want to make my brother two. I haven't started them yet, but I'm going to make him and his wife two mittens or a set of mittens, however you would say that. Out of this, this is. Um, well, I haven't been saying the yarn. <laughs> About that. This is uh, Red Heart Super Saver uh, Icelandic. I have like four skeins of this because when I originally bought it, I bought it. I wanted to make a blanket with it, but um, it's kind of rough. Like some Red Heart's rough and some isn't. 
this is kind of rough, so I'm going to make amigurumis with it, or mittens. <laughs> I want to make him, his, their mittens out of this, because their living room is like beach themed, and I thought this blue would go good with that. Um, and then also there's like a dragon pattern or something that I want to make with the rest of it. This one, this is line, or <laughs> red heart super saver, but I'm not sure what the color is. It's just the holiday color. It's just red, green, and white. I don't know how good it's showing up. And the white, this is the last little ball that I had of Red Heart um, with love. Jesse's is waking up. I'm going to have to go get him. In just a minute, I'm going to wait for him to wake up. Alright. He can wait for a second. That's in my bag, one of the bags that I made. Uh, the, pat the tutorial for this will be down below too. But uh, the tutorial... I've talked about it a lot of times. The tutorial bag comes out smaller. I don't, I don't have my cat bag. I don't know if any of y'all seen it, but it's the size of the tutorial bag. The tutorial is just made with two fat quarters. All these new bags that I've been making lately are four. I sew two together twice, you know, for the inside and for the outside to make it bigger because I wanted bigger bags. And then, whoop, <laughs> my hook banged. Um, and then with that, with the two, with the bigger, I, it comes out, I follow the pattern exactly the same way, and it just comes out the same bag, but larger. If I could quit stuttering. What's in this bag? Alright, I'll show this one next. This is my two finished objects, guys. Okay, whoops. <laughs> I'm still working on my grease blanket, technically. Like, it's still a whip. I have not touched it since the last time I talked about touching it. And I actually have a good excuse now. The pattern for it, and my, um... The program I use to like cross out as I go, I can't remember, I don't know what that would be called, to keep track of what part of the graph I'm on, his eyes are opening, <laughs> was on my tablet, and my tablet just quit working. It won't even turn on, it won't charge or nothing. So um, I have to download that app on my phone and put the picture on it and get caught up to where I was before I can keep working on my grease blanket. At least that's, that's one of my excuses. Really, I think I'm just burned out on it, and I'm just going to avoid it for a little while. Eh. I'm actually thinking about making it smaller than it's supposed to be. Instead of making all the squares, I'm just going to make the ones I really like and piece them together to make a blanket. But I'll link its pattern below anyways. It is paper pattern, but, you know, if you like the movie or play good enough, you know, it's worth it. <laughs> Alright, the next whip. This is something I'm making for my brother also. This is with that yarn that I talked about in the last episode that I wanted to just use to get out of the way because it's yarn I'm not going to use for anything else. Um, this is going to be like a blank little throw blanket that they could put on their couch if they want. Again, it's gone with the beach theme so it's a lot, it's the light blue color. Um, I've only made three little hexagons. It's a hex, hexagon blanket. <laughs> it's called Hexy Baby Blanket and it's by Vicki Howell. It's a free pattern. Um, I just made three little ones so far. I haven't really worked on it much because I started working on Christmas ornaments. It's in my cardinal bag, which I think goes good because it's the same color blue. But, um, I might make the blanket, it's a baby blanket, but since I want to make it a throw blanket for their couch, I might make it bigger. Because the baby blanket, I think, calls for 108 hexes and then 9 or so half hexes. That's to do the border, you know, to make it square on the bottom and top. So I might just make it bigger, make more hexes and more half hexes, that's how weird saying that, and just make it slightly bigger than a baby blanket. I don't know, I'll just go ahead and make it the way the pattern calls, and then I'll judge it on my own couch to see size-wise. And then I can always add a really nice fancy border to it to make it bigger if I need to. <laughs> but I like the pattern, it's super simple, like, I don't have it memorized yet, but I could easily probably memorize it and then won't even need it to refer to the pattern. Kind of like the next one I'm going to show you. The next one is my Christmas lights. I'm going to dig them all out just to show you. <laughs> I just got them all stuffed down in my bag. This is my skeleton bag. <clears throat> it's going to take me a second to dig them out. There's a bunch of them. <laughs> and there's my hook. This one pattern is um, Christmas lights by Jean Herman. I've talked about it like I think the last three or four podcasts. <laughs> I made my sister a strand of two repeats of colors and I'm making me a strand of four color repeats. So I'm doing something at the high school where I can hear them. So I got four orange bulbs, four yellow bulbs, four blue bulbs, whoop, I dropped one, 
four red bulbs, which red is what I had trouble with last week. I had to go buy a whole new skein of red just to make two more of those. And four green bulbs. I'm done with all the bulbs. Ugh, I just gotta stuff them. Which, I just didn't want to stuff them yet because then they'd just be a bunch of stuffed bulbs rolling around. I'm gonna stuff them back in the bag before I lose them. I think he went back to sleep. Now I'm working on the little connector thingies that go on the top of the bulb. On my sister's, I didn't stuff her connectors, and I think I'm going to stuff mine, because, you know, you learn the first time around when you mess up, and I think I'm, you know, it would be nicer, not messed up, she still loves them, I love them even, but I think it just looks nicer stuffed. I've made three of these, I need to make 20, I think, right? Yeah. I need to make 20, so i still got 17 more of these to go. I got this much, which I could probably get the majority of these out of this, but I also got another partial skein of that color, just from having... Probably from the tree skirts that I made a couple of years ago for me and my sister. Speaking of tree skirts, I need to find another little one to make for my new tree. My new little one. Um, but yeah, that's my other whip. Is that all my whips? That's all my whips. I don't have many whips. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. <laughs> I, um, well I have three whips, two active ones. Technically the mittens would be another whip, so that I have four whips and three active ones. <laughs> Um, I do have a couple of patterns that I want to talk about. I'll pop them up on the screen. Let me go to Ravelry. Check on Jessie real fast. <laughs> um, one came out today. Well, she released it today, the, the designer. I'd never even heard of this designer. And she ends up, she has a, um, a blog that has a bunch of free patterns on it. So that's cool. But it's this cute little crow. I love crows. Me and Devin's always joking about when we get a house, we're going to, like, get crows and feed them to get them to stay around our house just so that there's like crows all over our house calling and stuff because it's just cool but it's this cute little amigurumi crow it's just black gray and it's got black eyes i got all of that <laughs> so i can easily make um some of these little crows i thought it'd be cute to make a couple and just have them sitting around the house and then they could be cute uh halloween decorations even stick them on a reef or something for halloween and um it's almost january so my mind is fully working on I guess for the fair next September. I already have a list. I went to my fair's uh, website. They have a website. I don't know if every fair does, but our county fair's website downloaded their PDF of all the categories, and I went through it the other day and wrote down all the categories I would like to enter. Like every little thing that I could possibly make, I wrote it down. And then between January and September, it's not like someone knocked, but I don't think so. Um, I can work on them. <laughs> And this little crow, when I saw it, I was like, well, he would be a cute Halloween decoration. Because you could easily add a little hat to him or something, you know, just to give him, like, a costumey look. Or just stick him on a reef or something. Maybe, like, you know, crochet a border, or a reef, the, the reef body. <laughs> uh, stick a couple crows on there. Maybe put some little Dollar General, Dollar Tree, little twiggy decoration flower things. And stick a sign on there that says Nevermore or something. You know, just something that's... Halloween. <laughs> this other little pattern I found that I would like to make before Christmas, but I highly doubt it's going to happen. Christmas is like a week and a half away. Yes, it is. This is cute little reindeer. No, I don't want to translate my page. Um, this little reindeer looks just like a little toy reindeer my mom used to have that was just like a stuffed reindeer, like you get, you know, like a doll. She used to have that she would put out on Christmas, except it had a bell on its nose and it was a jingly bell. <laughs> Which I have jingly bells. I could easily make this deer and give him a jingly nose. But I thought that was so cute. And it was on Ravelry this morning when I looked. So was the crow. This little blanket, I'm a making. Maybe not anytime soon. But for shizzle, I'm making it. It is a paid for pattern. But I do not mind. I will buy it. It is so cute. It's, look at these little fish. Me and Devin love fishing and anything to do with the water. And hopefully Jesse will be that way too. <laughs> And I just thought this was such a cute blanket. I think it's meant to be a baby blanket. Does it say that? Yeah, it says baby blanket. But I would put that on my recliner. I would, I would use that. You, can make it, you could easily use that same pattern and make it much larger to make it any size blanket. <laughs> um, one of the items that I have found that I'm probably going to make for the fairy night. It's already in my uh, library. I went to go buy it. <laughs> and I saw that it was already in my library. So I must have claimed it with a coupon code or something before. Is the Halloween sampler scarf. Now, I made the Christmas one from her, this is Heidi Yates, um, last year for the fair, and I won first place. So, 
that might be a good thing you know stick with designers if you're winning but I've already got a bunch of patterns in mind for the fair and I have oh gosh I don't even know probably 30 categories I would like to enter I don't know if I'll get to enter all of them but there's a bunch of little stuff like a necklace and bracelet and earrings you know I can make those easily probably multiple ones in a day you know and stocking is easy some of the pattern you know like the worst one I think there's a sweater category but it doesn't specify the size last year I entered a baby sweater and I won first place with it so um, it's just sweater knit or crochet well there's a knit category and a crochet category so <clears throat> I can make another baby sweater and enter it or I can make an adult sweater whatever or an afghan there's two afghan categories there's afghan and then there's baby afghan baby afghans are easy you know you could pop one of those out in a week or two depending on how much time you have to work on it. It's the large afghan that's difficult and I want a purple ribbon this year. I'm going to try my hardest to get a best in show. <laughs> and I think that one of the best patterns to do that with is because in my last few years of looking at the fair, let's see here, um, the judges go for multiple colors, not variegated or self-striping, but like multiple skeins of yarn colors and multiple stitches. And so I'm thinking about trying to make a Mandala Madness blanket. I'm pretty sure it's a paid for a pad or PDF, but it's a free pattern on the blog because it was a uh, crochet along. I'm pretty sure. I'm not, don't call me on that. But <laughs> I'm thinking about making one of them for the fair because it's mo like almost every other round is a different stitch and you can change color every round too. People do make them with like Mandala cakes or other cakes that are self striping and they're beautiful very beautiful especially the ones with genie but um, I think I'm gonna try to make it multiple colors with multiple different stitches because it would be purple ribbon worthy <laughs> in my mind but like there's pillow cat there's all kinds of categories if you have a county fair that you're interested in joining um, and some fairs if you don't have one in your county they'll let you enter in the like, neighboring county just look into it you know if they don't have a website or a Facebook that you can get information from uh, call the the fair board a lot of times there's people who um, you know work all year round on the fair stuff or get a old fair book I don't know if every fair does that but our fair comes out with like a phone book size book about the fair every year uh, they actually win awards for it so I guess a lot of fairs do do that but um, and to get information or if you're 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 not sure at all you could always call like your um, courthouse your county county clerk or something some official person and get information from them you know they'll direct you to the, the right people they should <laughs> but um i think that's about everything i want to talk about <laughs> i'm gonna hop off here and wait for jesse to wake up 100 percent. he's been moving around so he's probably gonna wake up soon i'm gonna try to keep vlogging today i've some days i completely forget to even pick up the camera but uh, I think that's everything. As usual, my links are down below. My Ravelry group, my Ravelry page, and my Instagram. My Instagram is the most active. There's some really nice giveaways going on Instagram right now. And if I was you and you're able to join Instagram and post, go do it. <laughs> because, I mean, you could always win. You never know. I join, I enter just about every yarn-related giveaway I find because I might win one, you know. I won one a few years ago. I won a whole case of crochet hooks. A whole set of crochet hooks. Hey guys, I'm sitting here editing my video and I just realized that it cut off. And I did not know that it cut off until I'm editing it. <laughs> so I'm on Instagram. Okay. Um, pretty much after that I just said my byes. So I'm going to say my byes now. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Uh, leave some comments below. I like reading them and I like helping y'all if you have questions or whatever. Um, my nose bother me. <laughs> my links are below as usual. My Ravelry group, my Ravelry page, and my Instagram. I don't know if I already said that. Maybe I already did say that. <laughs> I don't know if I did. I'm repeating myself. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next Friday for the next crochet talk. And I'll see you tomorrow or later today for the next uh, Vlogmas. <laughs> uh, but I will see you Friday for the crochet talk. I already said that. Why well, do I always repeat myself? I think I get nervous and repeat myself. But anyways, I'll see you guys. Bye.